Okay, so editor auto indent. Controls whether the editor should automatically adjust the indentation when users type, paste, or move lines. Extensions with indentation rules of the language must be available. So this is a this this is important. Extensions with indentation rules of the language must be available. Okay, so by default the setting is set to true, meaning that if you have an extension that has indentation rules for the language you're using, uh, you're you know typing or copy pasting or moving lines, uh, the indentation will be automatically set, which is obviously nice, right? You want VS Code to do, to do as much automatic work as it possibly can so that you're a faster developer. Okay, so for this to work, we need an extension with indentation rules. Um, and you need to um, put that extension in here in editor default formatter. So define the default formatter, which takes precedence over, over all other formatter settings must be the identifier of an extension contributing a formatter. So this must be an identifier, right? Then right now it's set to null. But let me just show you how this works. Uh, my favorite code formatter, um, or another way to put it, my favorite extension with rules for the language, including indentation rules, is Prettier. So let's search for Prettier. Install this. No need to reload. And now if we go and check out our default settings and we search for prettier, we want the first, uh, the first occurrence of this, which is right here. So editor default formatter is null. And now the extension added this comment and this comment is actually uh, the um, identifier of the extension. And these are all the default extensions that VS Code comes with, but let's use prettier. So let's copy this. And there's no point in copying this to here because we're on the default settings. And not only that, if you try and do that, this is actually a read-only uh, file. So let's just copy that and paste here. Uh, default formatter. Okay, now um, the default formatter for VS Code is prettier and auto indent is set to true. So let's see how this works. If we copy a little bit, actually, let me show you what happens when this is uh, not working first. So if you copy a little bit of text um, and auto indent is off. So let, notice that I copied, you can copy whatever you want, but just notice that I copy this, these two characters, and then two tabs, actually these are four spaces, but whatever. Uh, so I copy the indentation, but I didn't copy this indentation right here, right? Because I don't need to, just copy until here. Um, unless I wanted the, the, the comment, but whatever. When we copy the code, the indentation that we copied is going to be there, right? And you can just keep copying and then the indentation will always be there. Now, obviously this is not what you want because if the indentation started here, you want this to do something like that automatically. Okay, so let's set this to true and let's see what happens when we do it again. So if we copy a little bit of text, that has indentation and we paste it, voila, now it works perfectly, right? The indentation is correct. And this is what auto, what that auto ident um, setting does. But you need to remember that you need an extension with indentation rules, otherwise this wouldn't work. Um, all right, that's pretty much it. I would leave this as true. And don't forget that this only works with uh, a formatter of some kind.